Are you tired of starting from scratch when designing websites? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you 21 website layouts you can use to jumpstart your creative process. I'm gonna give you five heroes, five benefit sections, five demo sections, and five call to actions plus a secret website layout at the very end. But this video is not just about theory, which is why for every layout that I show you, I'm also gonna show you a real live example website that is actually using that layout. So whether you spent hours staring at a blank canvas or you're just looking for some inspiration, let's get started with our first layout. Our first hero layout is a classic. It's the go-to layout for a lot of software companies, startups, or agencies. In general, it follows a pretty simple formula. First, we've got the header with our logo in the top left. Usually Usually there's also one or two buttons on the far right to log in or sign up. This could also be a contact button or a talk with sales button, depending on the business. Next up, we've got this big, bold headline that usually takes up two lines and conveys the main benefit of your business in as few words as possible. I also found that a lot of websites I studied had some badge over top of the headline. Usually it was news or updates, but sometimes it was highlighting that they had just won some award. Underneath that, we've got some supporting text, which reinforces the benefit that the headline stated. Then we've got two buttons to either get started or talk with sales. This could also be one button like get started or contact us, but the most common layout is with two buttons. Underneath that, we've got a video which shows off the main benefit. Adio.com has implemented this exact layout onto their homepage as you can see here. They've got their logo in the top left, two buttons on the top right, then they've got a badge, a big bold headline, some supporting text, two buttons side by side, and a video of their product in action. This is a great layout if you're going for a more modern look. But if you want something a little bit more classic, then this is the layout for you. This is a web design staple, and in a minute we're going to cover a lot of more creative layouts, but I wanted to cover this two column layout first because there are a lot of important nuances to getting this right. First, the font size of the headline is a lot smaller and usually takes up three lines. This layout is perfect for more complicated products because you have more space to explain how it works. Then you've got a much smaller chunk of text underneath it. This is designed to support the main headline. Underneath that, we've got the same two button layout we had in the last layout, except this time they're a little bit bigger. To the right of all of this, we've got an image that's designed to add support to the headline. It's not considered good practice to put a video here just because people on the web aren't used to seeing the uncentered videos, but that doesn't mean I haven't seen it on a lot of websites. In general though, if you're gonna use this two column hero, I'd recommend a photo, GIF, animated loop, but I'd probably stay away from the video. Saucelabs.com implements this layout perfectly. The headline is a little bit longer, which gives them room to fully explain how their product works. The text underneath is shorter and supports the main headline. The buttons are a little bit bigger, but the best part is the image on the right adds context to the headline in a fun and interesting way. It doesn't detract attention like a video would, and it adds to the character and charm of the design. Next up, we've got a really funky hero layout that is perfect if you want a really unique way to show off a cool product. First, you notice purple takes up the whole page. I did this to represent the idea that we're not gonna be using light mode or dark mode design, but instead use some color to grab attention. The nav links are also centered and given their own container. Underneath that, we've got a really big floating headline with a serif font. Surrounding and floating around the headline are abstract images that lead the eye down to this supporting text. Here there's a lot more text than most heroes, it's almost a full paragraph. Underneath that we've got two small buttons to start a free trial or request a demo. And then at the bottom here we've got a social proof section with different companies that are using our product already. We put this above the fold to balance out the fun quirky design with some solid business. Tines.com puts this layout into practice on their homepage. They've got a container wrapping their menu, a thin serif headline floating on the page, and that headline is surrounded by abstract graphics that weave through the headline and lead your eye naturally to this chunk of text down here with two buttons underneath. And then of course, they've also got a list of companies that they've worked with. Overall, this is an amazing layout to try out if you wanna go for a more creative and off-kilter approach to web design. Our next hero section is also incredibly creative and unique. This time, we've got a small headline with one word in a different color and in italics. Underneath that, we've got a supporting paragraph that's exactly the same font size, but in a slightly less bold weight. Underneath that, we've also got two small buttons and the whole thing is wrapped around a container. What's really interesting is that we've got graphics floating around this main container with arrows connecting them. This layout actually comes from sketch.com which has all the elements we just talked about. It's a really small headline with a paragraph of supporting text underneath it that's the same size. We've also got these floating graphics that are connected to our main container as well as these arrows that represent the kind of people working on a sketch project. The really cool thing about this layout though is that you can move it around by dragging these containers. This is a perfect layout if you're designing something 
something with a lot of intricate connections or if you're designing something very visual. Finally, the last hero layout I chose specifically for people in a creative profession like photography, videography, motion graphics, or web design. This is a great layout if you're designing a portfolio and a lot of portfolios that I've studied followed a very similar layout. This is the only hero layout with a centered logo because it actually splits the navigation up on the left and the right. In the center, we've got a big bold serif headline that's playing over top of the video. I just put a random stock image here, but you would have a highlight reel of your best creative projects or professional case studies or whatever it is that you want. Julia Gardner executes this layout beautifully on her website. We've got her word mark in the middle here with three buttons on the left and on the right. In the center, we've got an overlaid headline in thin serif text. Behind that, we've got a reel of her best cinematography encapsulated in this rounded container. If you're in any creative field, this is definitely a layout to explore and experiment with because it's easy to do and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Next up, we're gonna take a look at five benefit section layouts. These sections take up the majority of most websites, usually anywhere from 60 to 80%. This first layout is an absolute classic that you see on almost every single website. It starts with the section headline centered with supporting text underneath. Usually this reinforces your product's main benefits. And then each of these containers to the left here break that benefit down point by point. So you can click each of these to expand them and you'll get some additional text. And the graphic to the right will change to represent that benefit in a visual way. We're gonna take a look at more creative sections in a minute, but I wanted to highlight this one because you're likely to see it on pretty much every website. And astro.build does an absolutely fantastic job of putting this layout into effect. On top, we've got a headline built with Astro, and then each of these containers showcase exactly what you can build with Astro. So you can click marketing and the container expands with some additional text, but the really cool thing is the graphic also changes to showcase a real live website that uses Astro. You can click each of these containers and it'll shuffle which website is shown. This is a really cool way to make use of a classic layout. Next up, we've got the bento box benefit layout. Now, if you don't know, a bento box is an off-kilter layout designed around a grid, and this bento benefit section is designed to showcase a lot of different benefits without taking up too much visual space. But let's start with the section heading, which is a little bit smaller and takes up two lines instead of one, with the second being highlighted. Instead of each bento container, we've got a badge that tells you what the benefit is, and then a small headline which explains how it works. After that, we've got a small paragraph and a visual representation of the benefit. Now, to demonstrate this inside of our layout, I've clearly separated the visuals from the text, but in most cases, they'll be more blended together. To show you what I mean, let's check out gitbook.com, which puts this layout into practice. You can see that the graphics aren't exactly on top of the text, but there's also not a clear separation either. This layout is fantastic if you've got a lot of loosely related features you want to fit into one section. This is great if you're trying to give a general overview of your product or you're introducing features still in beta like Gitbook is doing here. Now let's check out the next layout, which you want to use when your benefits are very closely related. Again, we've got a slightly smaller headline that's aligned to the left, this time with no secondary color. Underneath that, we've got our benefits in tabs, and this is designed to walk you through the main benefits one at a time. So you start with the first benefit and you click one of these arrows here to go to the next one. Inside of each section, we've got a graphic on the left with a paragraph on the right. This layout is great if you want to walk someone through your whole solution step by step. It shows that the benefits together tell a story and are very closely interlinked. A great example of this comes from prismic.io. This benefit section definitely tells a story. Build, launch, grow. I can click the arrows down here to tab through each one of these and I can see visually how they relate to one another. On the right, I've got some supporting text which explains a little bit about the functionality of each prismic feature. Overall, this is a great layout to use if your benefits all center around some main objective. So I've seen software companies use this. I've seen supply chain or manufacturers use this. I've even seen agencies use it when they have a definite starting point and a definite end goal like designing a brand identity. The next benefit section is generally used when you've got a lot of different features designed for the same benefit. For example, you can have four different ways to integrate payment. We start with a small section headline and some supporting text underneath. Below that, we've got a two column layout, except the column on the right is broken down into three different sections. The column on the left showcases the most important or most interesting benefit along with a graphic that visually demonstrates how it works. The containers on the right don't have any graphics, but they show off other features that give you the same benefit. I think it's best if I just gave you an example. So this is tally.so, and they implement this layout in a really fun way. The section is all about different ways you can share forms with your audience. The main way is to embed it on your website, and you can see here they've got a little interactive demo of a form. And on the right, you've got three other options, a pop-up, a link, or a custom domain. So each container here essentially has the same benefit, which is to share your form, but they've got four different different features to make that possible. This is a great layout to use if your product addresses one need in a lot of different ways. I've seen fitness coaches use this layout to showcase their weightlifting, sleep, and cardio routines, for example. Finally, our last benefit section is a big bold headline with some supporting text above it and a 
lot of graphics floating around the headline while still maintaining a grid-like structure. This is super fun, it's quirky, it's unique, and it can really look good if there's a lot you want to show off visually. Basically, you want to use this if you want your product to do the talking for you. As an example, ChronicleHQ.com puts this into practice beautifully. You can see the graphics are all contoured around this main headline and it shows off the new block feature that Chronicle is rolling out. So yeah, if you've got a lot you want to show off and you don't want to write a lot of text, this can be a great layout to keep in your back pocket. Now we're going to take a look at five demo sections. Demo sections demonstrate the product in some interactive way. We're going to start with the most basic, which is just a big, bold headline with buttons to the right to start a free trial to get started. Underneath that, we've got a demo, which takes up the rest of the layout. And our example section comes from retool.com, which implements this layout on their homepage. As you scroll, it shrinks to put the demo inside of a container and give you some buttons to move around and see different parts of their software. This is a fantastic option if your product is more nuanced because this full width layout lets you see each and every detail. Next up, we've got a variation of the last demo section, this time with options above our demo window. The idea here is these buttons act like tabs and you can click through to see many different demos without taking up a ton of room. And resend.com puts this layout into action beautifully. I can click these buttons here to tab into different code snippets, select the framework that I want to use, and click this button to copy it into my own code. This is perfect because Resend integrates with like 20 different languages and frameworks, so if they had to lay this all out on their homepage, it would take up way too much space. But if you're a designer, the same layout could work for a portfolio. I've seen e-commerce stores use this, so it's a really good layout to have in your toolkit. Next up, we've got the demo grid. This is perfect for displaying particular parts of your product that users can interact with. The headline is a lot smaller too, because six demos naturally take up a lot of visual weight. And we've also got two tabs here to change the state of each one of these containers. MUI has got this exact layout on their homepage. You can toggle and interact with each one of these components, click the tab here to change their theme, and click the button here in the nav to change from dark to light mode. This is a great option if you've got a lot of small and related features you want to show off back to back. Our next demo section uses a before and after layout to compare what life is like once you start using the demo. So we've got this big headline up top, which usually mentions the terrible thing you're trying to get rid of when you make the switch. And this feeling of relief is made more real because right underneath it, the main headline is a demo that lets you actually experience what that's like. Typebot.io puts this into practice by showing visitors what their Typebot is replacing. Basically, it's a bot in the bottom right of your website that collects the same info that a form does. This demo section is basically trying to show you that forms are old school and lame and the chatbots are really cool. So you can interact with the chatbot in this demo on the right and see for yourself if you like using the chatbot more than the form. Finally, our last demo layout combines a number of different elements we've already covered in an interesting and unique way. We've got the tabs, this time laid out side to side, possibly with some supporting text underneath. This is a great option if you're already using a two column layout for most of your website. And on the right, we've got multiple demos all underneath the same tab. So you wanna use this layout if you've got multiple different features that all fit under the same umbrella. Maintime.dev has exactly this need. Most of their website uses a two column layout and all of the features they want you to demo could fit under similar categories. So you've got accordion and timeline components all under content. You've got modal hover cards, tabs, and steppers all under overlays and navigation. And every single tab here lets you demo multiple components. So this is a great option if your products fit well into distinct categories. Next up, we're gonna cover five call to action layouts. What layout you choose is largely gonna depend on the kind of website you're building, so this section is going to give you a wide variety of options for you to choose from. Starting off though with the most classic, this is the two column call to action with the headline and supporting text on the left with a button underneath. And then over on the right, we've got a graphic. This kind of setup is pretty common for software companies or anyone that offers a free trial. A classic example of this comes from clerk.com. They've got some encouraging copy on the left, urging you to sign up for free with a button underneath and a graphic on the right. The cool thing they do here is they have this subtle glow effect and the graphic actually pops out of the container at the top here. Just a cool extra little bit of design on an otherwise pretty standard layout. Now let's take a look at a full column variation of that last layout. This time we've got a small graphic on the top followed by a big bold headline with a short subtitle. Underneath that instead of a button to start a free trial or talk with sales or whatever we've got a form. This is perfect for newsletters, landing pages, catalogs, or anything else where you need some info about the person for them to start receiving your product. Whoop.com does exactly that because they need your domain name to get started. So they've got 
this graphic floating inside a space age container with a big headline, a short subtitle, and a form to submit your domain name. The reason this works so well is because it's one less step in the sign up process. Most of the time when you click a sign up button, you have to fill out a form anyway, so this is just cutting out the fluff and making sign up easier. Next up, we've got a different kind of call to action layout altogether. This layout combines a benefit section with a call to action to remind visitors why they wanted to sign up in the first place. In most advertising, either with videos or on sales pages or even in print, this is how sales is done. The closer you are to the buy now button, the more benefits you tend to see. Loops.so does exactly this. They've got all the main benefits of using their product right next to the sign up button. So if you were on the fence about signing up, especially if you just scroll through a really long sales page, this layout serves as a reminder of all the benefits you just read about. As a bonus, it looks amazing too. You know, a lot of sales pages tend to look kind of ugly and the benefits are sort of just laid out in a grid or a list. So this bento box layout really looks good by comparison. But if you're looking for something more direct, this pricing layout is the way to go. We've got a short headline up at the top, which usually just says pricing. Underneath that, we've got a short subtitle about getting started today or the main benefit of your product. Underneath that, we've got our monthly or annual pricing toggle and then our three pricing cards. And underneath this whole thing, we've still got an option to talk with sales if you're an enterprise. Threads.com, no relation to Instagram, by the way, put this into practice in a way that looks really beautiful. I love the glass effect they've got going on in the header, on the toggle, and on each one of these cards here. They've also got options below for startups, communities, and enterprises, and a compare and contrast section underneath, which you're probably gonna want if you use this card pricing layout. And our last call to action, which is perfect for agencies and designers, is the classic contact form with additional info on the right. You could have your email, socials, or if you've got a physical address, you could put that here too. This is perfect if you want to vet the kind of people or projects you're taking on and you want to get across early that there's a minimum deal size in working with you. A lot of designers tend to just have a link to their email, but in my personal experience, that can lead to a lot of junk mail. Heyo.is puts this layout to work on their contact page. They've got a pretty involved form because they only want to get info from really qualified leads. And they use the containers on the right to collect job applications and below that, there's an option to invest or give them a visit in person. This is perfect for an agency, but if you're not hiring or you don't have a physical location, a short bio or a link to your socials can work well here too. Finally, the secret 21st layout that I talked about at the beginning of this video. So we've covered five heroes, five benefits, five demos, and five call to actions. But if you want an entire website layout from header to footer, broken down section by section, I made an entire video dedicated to this 21st layout. This layout is perfect for designers, agencies, startups, software companies, and anyone that wants to focus more on the content and actually designing a great website than picking the right layouts. So if you want the full breakdown, check out the video here.